All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that variety nerd. Today we're back with our dude Jason Frost. He's approaching two years as a undisputed Universal Champion over here. We've got Troy waiting for us. Uh, last episode we completed um, the Multiversal Infinite Champion arc, and that was where we ended up teaming up with Finn Balor in a fun little. Uh, storyline and we got a cardboard championship listen I'm still excited about that I will not apologize so I'm assuming that we're finishing out sticking it to the Miz over here in one in the chamber uh, just giving you all a bit of a heads up I am pre-recording a little bit ahead uh, so again I don't know what any uh, I don't know when this video is gonna be out I don't know offhand when the previous couple videos are out uh, and that's because we're getting apartment renovations which is actually quite exciting so uh, that being said uh, we're gonna jump right into it so uh, as per usual well, grab your snacks, grab your toys and beverage, get comfy and cozy. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you get notifications around here and that sort of thing. Whew, we almost whiffed it there. <laughs> we, we stuck the landing. Let's go talk to our dude Troy over here. Troy, so good to see you, man. <laughs> you too, champ. Your big victory solidifying your status as the only champion on SmackDown has Miz in the most cheerful mood. Believe me, the whole team is... Delighted with you. Sarcasm for sarcasm. <laughs> I dig it. What do you and our must-see general manager have for me now? A live interview on The Bump that you're already running late for. And believe me, you don't want to miss this. We're going to get jumped oh, on won't. that. <laughs> I've never been more eager to tell the WWE Universe all about the Miz's stellar leadership. Great. There's a car waiting outside. It's not a limo or an SUV. It's actually a compact rental car that you'll be driving yourself. And you owe us $74.38. For what, gas? And it will actually be more than that if you don't fill up the gas before you return it. Wow. You guys really know how to treat your champions. Thanks, Troy. Some say the story was finally completed on night two of WrestleMania when Cody Rhodes won the World Heavyweight Championship oh. at last. But it felt like a beginning to me, Kayla. I agree, Byron. But our guest at this time is also in the midst of an incredible story. Please welcome the man who won the main event on night one, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Woo! Welcome, champ. Huge night for you at WrestleMania. Thanks, Byron. First, congratulations to Cody. He's been in the hunt for a long time. From one champ to another, here's to you. As Cody begins his championship journey, yours is becoming a marathon. I remember right after you won the WWE Universal title, Roman Reigns joked that you wouldn't last a month. We clearly have. Now it is day 666, and ooh, uh, hope that's not bad luck for your upcoming match. <laughs> Wait, do you know something I don't? What match? Uh, yes, it wasn't meant to come out that way, but we do have some significant news to share on that front. Way to blow our big reveal, Byron. Boo! Anyway, Miz gave us the exclusive on your next championship defense. Of course he did. Well, I'm here. Might as well say it. Before I do, just remember we're only the messengers. This is straight from the Miz. You will defend the undisputed WWE <laughs> Universal Championship against five other superstars in an elimination chamber match. Well, that's I exciting. Think Miz's words were actually, I'll put the toughest opponents from his past inside a cage and see if he's lucky enough to survive. Oh my God. Ha ha ha. ha. So, uh. Of course uh, Miz would do that. I'm not phased. Sure, this will be one of the greatest tests of my reign in the elimination chamber. And Miz can bring out all the heavy hitters he wants. But I'm not going to need luck. Luck isn't going to enter the picture. They used to call me the Dark Horse. But now the WWE Universe knows that I am a workhorse. I'm going to out-hustle every man in the chamber. And I'm going to walk out still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Because Miz sets him up. And I knock him down. I think that's Roman's thing, right? So. <laughs> Anything else you want to cover? Uh, I think you made your point. I think so, too. 
I, I have a stupid question. Have we factored in anyone that's holding a money in the bank briefcase into the equation yet? Because we haven't heard any sort of whiff or anything of it. <laughs> Does it exist in our timeline? I don't know. But tonight, Universal Champion Jason Frost faces his greatest challenge yet as he defends his title in the Elimination Chamber against Drew McIntyre, Logan Paul, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, and Kane. Well, I, when did we face Seth Rollins? <laughs> The ring general will have a close eye on this match and will defeat whoever walks away champion. Enjoy those final moments before you kiss your title goodbye, Jason Frost. My god, how has The Miz not been replaced yet? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, we get to chit-chat with Regal for a moment. Love that for us. Look at the smile. You look entirely too happy to be a general manager. <laughs> I finally got the champion I should have had for quite some time. Cody, good for him. Good for the business. He's an amazing talent carrying quite the legacy. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him too. I get your relief. The World Heavyweight title gets passed around so much over on Raw that it must have been hard to keep track. Hopefully Cody can hang on to it for a while. Hopefully you can hold on to the WWE Universal Championship through the Elimination Chamber tonight. Miz has assembled quite the rogues gallery. No kidding. What did we yeah, face Seth? <laughs> I don't remember this. Beat. Overconfidence can blind one to unseen threats. Yep. I'm coming up on two years as WWE Universal Champion. Don't get too confident. I've earned a little confidence at this point. Confidence is fine, but, but don't overdo it, my dude. That could be your Achilles heel. Well, how you've changed. It would be interesting. What? If you get through the elimination chamber, perhaps Miz and I should start a conversation about the match everyone expected on your first night as champion. You versus Cody Rhodes. Oh. The match everyone expected me to lose? Bring it on. Wonder who the odds would favor this time. Cody. <laughs> a fine question indeed. Let's be real, dude. Like, you don't have any friends back here. Actually, no, he's got friends, right? You know, he's in good graces with Regal, obviously. We teamed up with Finn. Uh, Sammy liked us there from when we had that random tag match. So, I, we've got some friends at least, right? One that's been hanging over my head for a long time. I'm thinking maybe you're right. It's time we answered it. Maybe. But we'll talk more later. If you can survive tonight. We can do it. Good luck. Thanks, Regal. I appreciate it. Well, of course we're starting the match, because The Miz just doesn't like us at all, apparently. As if we haven't figured that out several episodes ago. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're starting up this match up here in the Elimination Chamber against our good pal Logan Paul. So that's exciting. Uh, it's been almost two years since we've won the title. We got this. We've absolutely got this, though. <laughs> At least we didn't have the Dark Pod happen. Remember last year's game with the Dark Pod and that was Justine Janine coming out out of retirement just because she can? <laughs> Without telling us. <laughs> Here we go, people. Elimination Chamber time. Let's do it. All right, Logan Paul, you're done. Okay, win the Elimination Chamber match. When did we take on Seth Rollins? Like, I remember everybody else, but maybe that's the wrench that... Miz kind of threw in there. It was like, oh, he hasn't faced Seth Rollins before. We need some more star power in this match. Kane was the casket match with Dominic Mysterio. Uh, Kevin Owens and the Miz are buddy buddy. I remember we took on Drew at WrestleMania, right? I think that was it. Or what? No, that was SummerSlam, I think, because that was the one year anniversary match. And then, um,. Yeah, Logan Paul we just beat last episode. But yeah, I think everybody we've fought up, we, we've defeated already except for our pal Seth Rollins. We haven't had a Seth Rollins match yet. Not as far as I'm aware anyway, right? Oh crap, I didn't stay on top of him. Alright, here we go. The funky music. We gotta see who's coming out next. Kane! 
Go after Logan Paul. Why is the camera all zoomed out like that? I can't see anything. Oh, no. If I have to replay this, it's because of that. Oh my god, everybody's coming after me. Go after each other, my god. <laughs> but I hope everyone's having a lovely week so far. At the time of recording this, we are back in... Having more rain, but I did get to run my errand and get a quick walk today. So that was exciting. Uh, again, by the time we're uh, getting this uploaded, it might be the weekend, it might be Monday, it might be Tuesday. I don't know. It's definitely going to be at least Sunday, that's for sure. It's going to depend on a number of variables, I think. Um, just, you know, when we get everything edited that we already have filmed. I'm only going to record this episode today because I have the weekend to do a little bit of extra filming. Ideally, that would take place Saturday or Sunday. But on Sunday, I have to, like, move all my stuff to uh, make room for the renovating people. So that's exciting. Alright, Seth Rollins is out here, which is very, very exciting as well. Okay, cool. I'm going to stay put over here. Y'all can just go and do your thing. I'm going to go climb up over here. I'm going to just go and hang out. Y'all can go beat each other up. We're just going to chill and hang out. I think we've got a solid plan. <laughs> it didn't say that we had to pin everybody or eliminate everybody. Just that we had to win the match, right? Right. But I will say I'm really enjoying the men's My Rises here. I think this is the first one in a little bit that I've really actually enjoyed. Right? I hope they... I want to see them do another sort of... Oh, no. Kane found me. Kane found me, I think. Oh, no. We whiffed it. Well, that's fine. I thought Kane was going to go after me for a second there, so uh, my bad, y'all. Oh no, Kevin Owens is out here. He probably found me. Oh no, Kevin found me. Okay, good. Everybody's inside the ring. Everybody just chill out. Just chill inside the ring. I'll, I'll hold down the fort outside over here. I, I mean, somebody's got to, right? They didn't say that we had to eliminate everybody, just that we had to watch the match. Or win the match. Well, I mean, we are watching the match from afar, right? I got my eyeballs peeled on uh, Kevin Owens over here. You two can go and fight. Uh, I'm just going to do my own thing. This could backfire on me, but that's okay. I'm, I'm just... I'm just chilling over here, apparently. What in the world happened? Oh, okay, well, we're back in this somehow, some way. <laughs> Y'all just see that? <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> Again, I love when I come across stupid things like that in my gameplay. Kevin, go home. I like you, Kevin, just not when you're with The Miz. I don't even know why Kevin would want to be with The Miz in the first place, because it's not a character, but it is what it is. Bam! Alright, ref. Count it. I mean, Kevin's going to kick out, probably, but that's okay. Oh, never mind! Never mind, then. Okay, good. Uh, Seth, you go get... Yeah, there you go. Take care of our good pal, Logan Paul. I'll be holding on the fortress over here. Alright, Kane's going in for the cover now on Drew, I think. Yep, that's Drew. Drew kicked out at one. I almost said two, but I think that's because we're used to seeing two counts. Well, there goes Seth. Wow! Oh boy, Logan Paul is after us now. Delightful. Yay! Well, I mean, hey, that's fine. I mean, it continues our little feud that finished at WrestleMania, but here we are. Alright, Kane eliminated Drew. We're down to Kane, Logan Paul, and our dude here. Oh, we countered. We countered people. Beautiful DDT from our dude there. Well, that didn't end well for us, apparently. Uh, can you go after Kane? Like, can y'all just, like, back off? That'd be great. 
Okay, you two can go after each other. I'm just gonna wait to see who is uh, the last dude standing here, which is probably gonna be Logan Paul, given the little health meter situation, right? Right. I'm gonna go and uh, chill over here again while you two uh, just do what you're doing. <laughs> again, it didn't say that I had to eliminate everybody, just win the match. That's all, that's all that it said. Although I don't trust the aftermath of this, to be honest. Where, where's Roman Reigns at? We haven't seen him for a cup of coffee, right? And this is after WrestleMania, so. Oh no. Oh well, that failed miserably, but that's okay. <laughs> I didn't know where Kane was going with that, to be fair, so that, that would do it. All right, stupid Logan Paul, what are we doing? Okay, well that's fine. Kane's going after you. Kane just going for the cover. This dude's got like no health left. There we go. Our dude's gonna do it then. There we go. Well, we're down to Jason Frost and Kane, and we put Kane away in a casket during a casket match, like a while back. So <laughs> I think that was like episode two or three. I'm pretty positive it was somewhere around there. But I'm interested to see where all this is going. I know at some point we get a match with Cody. Um, that's all I know. Because, I mean, one of the achievements says defeat Cody Rhodes, and I don't know when that's going to happen. It might happen here. It might happen a little while, but it's going to happen at some point, I think, right? There is an achievement tied to defeating Cody Rhodes. So, there's, there's that. There's some food for thought with that. Here we go. Bye, Kane. Nice knowing y'all. Alright, into the cover now. Come on, ref. You can do it. We did it! We absolutely did it. We survived the Elimination Chamber, retained our title. Do we get the Cody match soon? I, I still want to remember... Uh, do y'all remember us facing Seth at any given point? Because I don't remember this. They're probably like, yeah, we need one fresh person in this match. Or maybe Seth's involved with somebody else in this match. Like, he's probably feuding with Logan Paul or Kane or just somebody in this group. Oh, what a time. Roman Reigns is gonna come out and spear us in five minutes. I don't trust these games, okay? When we have nice endings like this, I'm just immediately skeptical. <laughs> I know it's our little victory scene, but you, you get the idea. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of our dude. He absolutely did it. He crushed it. He went bell to bell, defeated past rivals plus Seth Rollins, because I don't think we ever faced Seth at any point. Uh, let's see what happens next in this story. I want to see where the story goes. I just survived the toughest opponents from my past in the Elimination Chamber. So now what? Do I take some time off? Maybe hit the golf course? Rest up and recover? Nah. I don't think so. See? There's one other superstar in WWE who's actually been champion longer than I have. Oh. And I've been hearing rumblings for a long time that he deserves what I have. That somehow he's more worthy than me. I'm talking about you, Gunther. I'm ready to quiet all the doubters once again. I almost forgot you about this. You think you deserve what I have? Then come and try to take it. Oh, one in the chamber. It's done. Workhorse trunks. Okay. Wonderful. We've went from dark horse to workhorse. Alrighty, so we've got a whole bunch of stories, I think, coming up. Okay, Age of Imperium. Perfect, we got a nice short little tab over here. Going, going, Gunther. Okay, so extreme preparedness, charitable dominations, and then going, going, Gunther. Perfect. I think we're going to tackle those shorter matches first, which were the ones with the fists, I think, right? So we have Ava Moreno over here with her multi-level marketing scheme. We got Geneva over here. Love to see our little cameos from our characters over here and that sort of thing. Jason should keep Gunther's mouth out of name out of his mouth. All right. 
All right, Cameron Grimes, whatever you got to say here. Okay, so I think what we'll do is that let's tackle the Ava Moreno match first because these are kind of the quicker matches that we can tackle, and we'll just kind of keep moving ahead. We'll tackle these two shorter matches and just see what we have time for because, I mean, I'm okay with us just kind of pushing through to, like, get to the going, going Gunther match because that's, you know, important, right? That's This is literally all we got here, <laughs> which is kind of great. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We are going to go ahead and go to Abe Moreno, who is probably going to try to lure us into our pyramid scheme. That, that, that's still my favorite story. I will not apologize. <laughs> it's got to be up there, though. It's one of my favorites. Hey, I know you've been dominating, but looks like you might have an even bigger test coming with Gunther and Imperium. Probably makes sense to get ready for anything. And since there isn't a ton of time, you might as well get ready for everything all at once. How about an extreme rules match against Tommaso Ciampa? It's the perfect way to prepare for that tough battle ahead, you know? Sure. Alrighty. We're inside Mission Central once again, which is kind of exciting. Uh, so try to beat Tommaso Ciampa. That's fine. That is fine. We uh, tend to go through these pretty quickly over here with these little side missions, really. Uh, so, I mean, we might be able to get through two, two of these little side matches, because usually the ones with the fist are like one-and-done type matches. And then the ones that are more storyline-driven, those are usually two or three matches. So, we could get through the shorter matches and one of the longer challenges, uh, or one of the longer stories, but I'm not going to push it. We do have room to do both in the next episode of those stories, which I think would be kind of good, and then we jump over to Guther. So... I'm very interested to see where all this kind of goes, and I need to see our dude take on Guther, because that would be great. We, we need that. Oh, nice move right there from our dude. I, we've got this, people. We've absolutely got this. We are crushing it. We are absolutely crushing it. And again, like, we're just here to watch the story unfold. Like, that's kind of just what we're here for, right? Right. Oh, that might be it. I mean, it's extreme rules, so I don't think there's any rope breaks involved, right? We did it! Ready for a squash match on our hands, right? Oh, that's great. Sometimes you need a squash match, though. You need a quick win or two. It doesn't detract from the win-loss record or, you know, whatever, right? Like, you need a squash match or two here and there to kind of, like, build up some momentum for somebody, right? And we're going to need all the momentum we can get against Gunther coming up. So let's keep things moving along. Extreme preparedness. Okay, 10 attribute points and 5% to body durability. Okay, that's cool. So we have the Geneva story over here. And then I'm guessing the other one... Well, the other story is with Cameron Grimes. But let's see what Ava has to say. That was an inspiring victory. It's one thing to say you've got to be ready to push yourself to the extreme. It's another to actually do it. Amazing. At least she didn't try to sell us on her pyramid scheme. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so charitable dominations. I think that might be in a little bit uh, once we finish out one of these two stories. Look at how many things that you unlock over here. I mean, you got a lot of My Rise cards. You've got, you know, two arenas over here. And then over here, Grimy Situation is at 16 for attribute points. I'm guessing maybe it's like, you know, we have to win one of those little stories first. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but, yeah, I think we have to beat one of these main stories first, right? No. Hang on. There's Tavish. I'm like, where's the other story at? Okay, let's go chit-chat with Tavish for a moment here. Listen, champ, I've been thinking. The ring can turn into a right old brawl bodies flying and bones cracking but there's a glimmer of beauty in that chaos now what if we could take all that pain and fury and put it to good use eh? a charity submission match where the art of the tap out meets the heart of raising a few quid for those in need what you say I'm all for it, Tavish. I am all for it. All right, so we're back at the BCW arena, and we're taking on Tavish. So that's exciting. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's like, Christina, just get to the other stories already. And it's like, I'm just trying to film a bunch of episodes before 
you know, just a very busy week ahead. And that's okay. Again, I just wanted to record one extra episode a night because I'm going to be editing and uploading an episode when I'm recording this, which is on Thursday. And then we'll be back to doing a reaction on... S we'll be back for reactions on Saturday. And, you know, we have a contingency plan in case if there's no reaction because we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, I might have to download the Fox app or whatever mess uh, because of freaking potential basketball again. It's like, this is the SmackDown after WrestleMania, Fox. Like, come on. Come on. But either way around, uh, I hope everyone is having a lovely day so far. It's a good little day over here in the neighborhood and that sort of thing. So, I can't complain. Well, I mean, I'm a little tired, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, no. Tavish countered. I got to go on my walk and do... And just do my little errand that I had to run. So that's that's cool. Wait, is this an ODQ match? Apparently so, if there's a stop sign involved, which... What are we doing, Tavish? Okay, Tavish. Watch me lose to Tavish in BCW. That would be funny. He's encountering everything. Look at this. He's giving us a run for our money over here. Oh, that was almost right on that stop sign. That would have been fantastic. Alright. Come on, Jason. You got this. I know that it's by submission, but that's okay. Oh, I think we got him right on that stop sign. Holy cow. Okay, obviously the arm bar would not be my first choice, but it is what it is, right? Right. Oh boy. Our most competitive matchup is gonna be against Tavish, which I find hilarious. There there is some hilariousness in this. It is not lost on me. Well, I mean, we're wearing them down, so that's probably a good thing. I'm concentrating, that's why I'm not talking as much. That's okay, we're trying to just wear them down however we can, right? Right. Oh, we countered. What a counter there from our dude here. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, that's fine. <laughs> We've still got two finishers to kind of really wear him down some more. My god, our longest match probably is against freaking Tavish. Well, our dude's not a submission specialist. He's, that's, that's where Christina Bennett kind of differs, right? Our dude just goes in there and beats the crap out of people. Beautiful, beautiful. Just stay on Tavish. Just stay on him. That's exactly what we need to be doing. Oh my goodness. Okay. We will get there. Oh, well, we didn't press the right buttons for the submission. That one's on me, y'all. That one's on me. Oh, seriously, Tavish? Okay, well, he used the resiliency. We know that we can use that move to take him down, so... <laughs> Plot twist, Tavish is the final boss. Oh my god, what a wild ride. 
Tavish, let me just tap you out. I know it's for charity, but but God. This is what I get. This is exactly what I deserve, right? Right. Good old Tavish. There we go. Okay, we did it. <laughs> well, I mean, he did mentor the dude named The Lock, so... I mean... He couldn't pick out of this lock, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. No, I'm not. Oh, uh, this was our longest match, probably. Uh, but that's okay. Well, one of our longest matches. I think we had an Iron Man match at one point. Yeah, we had the one against Grayson Waller. I'm like, wait a second here. We had an Iron Man match somewhere, and I don't remember where it was. But we did it, people. Watch out for the stop sign. Good old BCW. But hey, we did it for charity. That's what counts, right? Right. All right, charitable dominations. We got five plus for body durability and 10 attribute points or 10 upgrade points. And we got Tavish from uh, the My Faction reward. So that's nice. All righty. So we got three stories left to go. We've got 38 upgrade points. And we got a DM from Tavish. So brilliant performance. That charity match was a right blast. The way we raised those funds, even though it came at my physical expense, warms this old heart. Hope you can carry the momentum forward against Gunther. Okay, perfect. So we've got two more stories to go, and I think we're going to complete those in the next episode because I think we completed a we we had a lot of progress made. We really did make a lot of progress because we got through um, the. Uh, chamber match which was right here yeah right here and then we've got two of these matches uh all wrapped up which is exciting and we're gonna get on lot we're gonna get a lot unlocked in this next uh story here with geneva so that's very exciting so we'll have all those uh, little cards to unlock and just all the little rewards coming up which is great uh, and then we get a grimy situation as well. So we'll complete these two stories in the next episode, and then we'll go for the Gunther match. So, uh, that's presuming what it is. Uh, before we wrap things up, we're going to go ahead and give our dude the attribute points. I think at this point he needs to max out resiliency, because he, he deserves it. He really does. He's made it almost, I think, around two years as champ. I, I, think, he, I think he deserves it. So next time we're going to do our little stories, and then we'll go to Gunther match. So, thank you all super duper much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell button so you get notifications around here, and that sort of thing. So again, thank you all super duper much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.